In this video, we will discuss sending quoted agreement items in QuoteWorks over to ConnectWise Agreements. There are additional videos on the QuoteWorks website that provide an overview of the QuoteWorks integration with ConnectWise. Before implementing an agreement workflow from QuoteWorks to ConnectWise, we recommend that you are familiar with agreements in ConnectWise. The best resource for this is the ConnectWise University. Once you have established your agreement workflow for ConnectWise, you can implement sending agreements from QuoteWorks to ConnectWise. Now let's set up the mappings needed for sending quoted agreement items over to ConnectWise. To do this, we'll go to the Contacts menu and set up Contact Manager, followed by ConnectWise Setup. The first step in the mapping is to set the forecast type. QuoteWorks uses the Quoted Items item type as the key for this mapping. In most cases, you will want all QuoteWorks products to map to ConnectWise product forecasts. We will map Manage Service to Product, as this will be our agreement item type. The following settings will only be used when creating a new agreement product in ConnectWise. If the product already exists in ConnectWise, we will use its properties. If you notice that a product is not being sent to ConnectWise as an agreement product when it should be, check the product in the ConnectWise product list to ensure the agreement product is set up correctly in ConnectWise. The most common issue is that the product class is not set to agreement. First, for new products, you will need to map your agreement item type to your ConnectWise product type that you are using for agreements. The product type field in ConnectWise is used to identify what type of product you want to create in your QuickBooks or other accounting item list. In this case, I'm mapping my managed service to managed service inside of ConnectWise. You will also need to map the appropriate category and subcategory. The category and subcategory are used to classify or group products in ConnectWise and also to appropriately post revenue to your accounting package. In this case, I'm mapping my item type of managed service to my ConnectWise item categories of managed service. The product class is the most important mapping for agreement products. This must be mapped to agreement. Agreement class products are not available for purchasing in ConnectWise. If the agreement class product is won on an opportunity and the option is set to create agreements on the opportunity conversion window in QuoteWorks, the agreement item will be converted from the ConnectWise opportunity to the ConnectWise agreement. So in this case, I am mapping managed service to agreement. To default, the option to create agreements when converting an opportunity all you need to do is check the checkbox to default create agreements from opportunity checkbox on ConnectWise opportunity integration window. The mappings are now complete. Now let's quote an agreement item in QuoteWorks to see how it is transferred to ConnectWise. And I'm going to use an existing product that I already have in ConnectWise. In this case, it's my managed workstation. Go ahead and add that to our quote. And you'll notice that my item type is managed service. So that'll go over as an agreement based on our settings. And I'm already selected a contact that I'm quoting. So let's go ahead and save the quote and create the opportunity inside of ConnectWise. Okay, so we have our opportunity, so let's go ahead and view that inside of ConnectWise now. If we scroll down, you'll see that we have our new opportunity that we just created, as well as our agreement product with all of its recurring properties on the opportunity. So let's go back to QuoteWorks now and skip ahead, assuming the customer accepts the quote. So we're going to go ahead and convert this quote to an order which is going to win the opportunity for us inside of ConnectWise. And just make sure the checkbox is checked here for create agreement from opportunity and click on save. 
And what that's doing is winning that opportunity for us. But then we're gonna have our create new ConnectWise agreement screen come up. So from here, I can either link to an existing agreement that I have inside of ConnectWise or create a brand new one. As you'll notice, this looks very similar to what you have inside of ConnectWise. And everything looks good here, so we'll go ahead and create this. So that's creating a brand new agreement and adding all the agreement items from our opportunity onto that agreement. So we'll go ahead and go to links and view the opportunity in ConnectWise. And you'll notice that we have our one opportunity. And let's go over to conversions here. And you can see that we have our agreement. So let's go ahead and click on that. And here's our new agreement that we just created. And if we go over to additions, you'll see that we have our managed workstation from our quote. So as you have seen, integrating QuoteWorks with ConnectWise for the purpose of agreement workflow is seamless with only a few settings in QuoteWorks. If you have additional questions after watching this video, please feel free to give QuoteWorks technical support a call at 407-248-1481 or send an email to support at QuoteWorks.com.